What's up, happy people? It's Saturday morning. And you know what I do usually on Saturday? I go to the market, I get my fresh stuff, and I cook. I do hope you guys are having a blessed day today, because I am. So I went down this morning to a border market. I grabbed myself some plantains, some edos, some sweet potatoes, because I want to make a soup tomorrow, is Sunday. But today I'm going to fry some of those plantains. Of course, I bought some pork and some chicken from the Rosenthal Butchery. I did not go up all the way to Mon Repose. So, join me and let's get cooking. So today, I'll be frying up these pork and I'll be frying some of this plantain. It'll make a light dinner because Miss Lynch already cooked some nice macaroni and shrimp. I pick up some of these seeds and I couldn't go past them. I, sometimes I'm in a rush and I don't get to get the fresh seasoning. I cook with these stuff. Finish peeling my plantain. And of course, I got some onion, pepper, ginger, and some garlic here. Chop up. And we can pick some fine thyme from the tree outside in the garden. There goes my tomato tree. Got one tomato so far. Hey, I can't pick it. I got a lot of flowers there and things. So my garden looking a little bit good so far. So I'm gonna pick some of this fine leaf thyme here from my garden. This is a beauty. When you grow your own garden, you can pick things fresh, cook fresh. Yes, I'm getting some cilantro. So I'm picking stuff fresh. So I got my nice celery here from my tree. So I got my oil in there, a little bit of oil. Then I'm gonna add all these seasoning. Got my little cilantro, celery, garlic, onion, chopped onion, chopped pepper, chopped ginger, fine thing. Like fry it up, then I'm gonna add the pork. And remember guys, the pork is already pre-cooked, it's smoked. Right, it says here, uh, sorry, it's roasted. It's already roasted, so hey, partially cooked. It. So I don't have to cook it too much. First you add the onions, let it fry a little. Man, it smells good. Then you want to add the garlic and the pepper and the ginger at that time. You add this in here, let it cook a little. You don't want it to overcook, maybe for about 30 seconds or a minute. I'm going to dice open this bags with my roasted pork. It's sweet, it smells sweet. They roast it in a sweet sauce. So after a minute, I'm adding my pork. You wanna turn this up? Let it fall in love. I'm gonna add some soy sauce to this in a minute. Some flavors to it. So I'm adding a little bit of salt, about one teaspoon, because the meat is kind of sweet. And then I'm gonna add some of this bad boy, some soy sauce. So I learned to cook this in China, actually. Man, look how this thing's sizzling. So I'm gonna let this cook for about five minutes, and it's ready to eat, y'all. I'm using the celery and the cilantro, cutting it up fresh in there. Look at the greatness there. So this guys is a finishing touch of my roast pork. I got my bowl of roast pork there. This is the exact thing you just go by the Chinese restaurant and buy. Now I find a way to save money. Chinese selling, this portion, I think you don't pay about $25 for it. 
and it only cost me about ten dollars to produce. I saved myself fifteen dollars, and I cook it myself. I got my plant, I got a season in there. I got my oil hot in over there. Have you ever wondered what is the purpose or the use of this side of the pan breaker? Well, this is it. Some people long time we used to do it like this. Look how time consuming this thing is. Thanks to innovation and invention of tools. Now, this say you could add some salt and fry it just like this, but I like to add some seasoning to it, something called fried rice seasoning. So this is a fried rice seasoning. I'm gonna add it to my plant. Then. So instead of adding the salt only, I add some seasoning. Give it some taste. And it tastes good because we fried it like this for a long time. If you've never seasoned a plant in before, try it out. Use some fried rice seasoning. Add some real good taste to it. You don't have to add salt because in the seasoning I already have some salt. So here is my grey goose. I'm gonna pour me a shot. Would you like a shot, darling? Just, just take a little, take a little one. Then. I, I, I introduced him. I introduced him this lunch to the coconut water and the thing. I'll give you a, a small tox. I ain't giving you a big thing. But the problem is now, my bottle going down. I got one more week here, and then the bottle done. Cheers. One of my subscribers asked me why I'm not showing your face on my on my cooking video. Could you say why? Because it's too ugly. No, that's not why you, you don't want to be in the camera. She just chose not to be in the camera. Cheers. To make all kind of assumptions why my wife don't want to be in the camera, but she doesn't like the camera. And she has a YouTube channel, you know. She loves as well, but doesn't like to be on my show. You guys don't think I would love to have my wife inclusive in my show? But she doesn't want to be. She just want to stay in the background, behind the scenes, you know. But she's doing a fantastic job. She's right over there. She just get away. A cutter digging in the, in, in the bowl of arrow spoke. <laughs> right. Are we getting some help from Selena over there? Watching up the rear. So that's the man's kitchen. I get a little help. So because of the seasoning on the plantain, the plantain is looking dark as if it's burning, but it's not, right? You can see some of them, is kind of what they're kind of white there. It's not fully cooked as yet. Like now, it looks super okay. It is not burned, it's not just normal because of the seasoning. It had that color. Okay guys, my coffee mug is empty. So, you know I love my Eldorado. So I pour me a shot of Eldorado. I got my two bowl of cutters there with some nice pepper sauce. And of course, I'm frying some more plantains there. I got one more set to fry. So I'm going to lash my little Eldorado. Get my little plant here in the pepper. Right? I'm going to lash my little pork. Ready? Throw back. Enjoy this Saturday afternoon. What else can I do? This is life. This is my life. Guys, this is a bottle of one of Guyana's finest liquor. It's the finest rum. It's 21 years old. So when you're drinking good things, you don't desecrate it. Or you don't water on it. This is two ounces of 21 year old. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add a little piece of ice. Shake it up. We call it on the rocks. So you don't want long anything too much. You drink it to get the real taste. This is a good thing. So cheers. Yes, that's good. Now, come away to my plantain. To my plantain, my little pepper. And I'll crunch on this. Oh. This is how I spend my Saturday afternoon. I feel like eating a little fried plantain and some roast pork. I run down to Border Market. 
Det er godt at blande til dem. Jeg vil bruge som Eddos og som superdetos, fordi jeg vil have en soup i morgen. Right now, my wife is looking. Actually, she and I was looking at the Netflix series, a new one. Um, Love is blind. Love is blind. <laughs> so, we were looking at movies, and I felt hungry, so I drove them to the market to get plantains to fry and stuff. So, cheers. I'm gonna finish up my cooking. Go out to the front. We're gonna start looking at movies. We're gonna watch the El Dorado. Enjoy life. We're gonna enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Me and her and the kids. We're gonna eat it all this plant in the frying and this pork and of course we got some nice macaroni here. We're gonna watch a movie and we're gonna enjoy as a family. This is how we spend our Saturdays. I sit down here with my shot El Dorado, my plantain, and my little pepper. And of course you know what doing. And I'm watching Love is Blind. So I hope you guys are doing something fun this afternoon. Hope you had a great day. Hope tomorrow will be a productive day for you. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you try my new way of frying plantain. Season the plantain before you fry it. Peace out. Love you. And we are gone.